Hi, my name is Amdan Shekharan and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, as well as the following videos, we will be seeing some of the basic operations using SQL. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show is create table as select. This is a DDL, which is a data definition language. And the reason I'm going to show this is I am basically going to create a table which would be a copy of an existing table. This method is frequently used by the DBS for uh, like an ad hoc backup. Okay, so let me show this first and then I will go to the some of the basics uh, of uh, uh, SQL language which is select, insert, update, delete. Okay, so now I've logged in as user Sam in this demo DB in SQL Developer. So, how do we know? Just do a right click and uh, uh, go and select properties. So that's the database. I logged in as user Sam. So those who are watching this video for the first time, uh, and those and uh, those who haven't watched the series of videos in this tutorial, you may want to go and watch uh, because uh, you would find information about how to install Oracle SQL Developer and how to connect to the uh, connect to your database. Okay. So now I logged in the Sam and then I'm doing select table name from uh, user underscore tables. Okay. So I will explain in, in uh, later I will explain what is user underscore tables and everything. But right now just understand that I'm looking for the tables that I want. Here I means the user Sam. So I did a select table name from user tables. I executed that there is no result means that I don't own a table okay the same can be found by looking at this tab where it says there are no tables beneath this branch okay so now what I'm going to do is there is a schema called HR and beneath that there is a table called employees and I'm going to copy this table to my schema or under my username. So what I'm going to do is create table, table name. Okay, I need to give a table name. So let me call it as test1 as select star from HR dot employees. Is it employees or employee? Employees. Okay. That's it. So what I'm going to do is if I run this command, it's going to create a table called test1 and that would be a copy of HR employees. How do we know? Because I'm doing a select star from HR employees, that would be put into a table called test1 under my username. Okay, it says table test1 created. Okay, so now here if I do a right click and there should be a, hold on a second. Where is this refresh button? Generally, F5 is refresh. Okay, I'll come to that later. Okay, so now if I do this one, select table name from user tables, there is a table called test underscore one. That's it. So now what I can do is like now I can 
select the data from the table select this okay so that the data is coming thank you for watching